हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू डाउट फोरम दिस क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड ऑन दिस सर्कुलर मोशन एंड वी आर आस्ट टू फाइंड द नॉर्मल रिएक्शन ऑन अ ब्लॉक एंड द क्वेश्चन इज अ ब्लॉक ऑफ 200 ग्राम मास मूव्स विद यूनिफॉर्म स्पीड इन अ हॉरिजॉन्टल सर्कुलर ग्रूव विद अ वर्टिकल साइड वॉल्स ऑफ रेडियस 20 सेंटीमीटर इफ द ब्लॉक टेक्स फोर्टी सेकेंड टू कंप्लीट वन राउंड द नॉर्मल फोर्स बाई द साइड वॉल्स ऑफ द ग्रूव इज and here four options are given the first concept used here is of the reaction or the normal reaction force normal reaction force is a kind of contact force whenever there is a contact between any two surfaces there would be a normal force created by both the surfaces so to understand it better let's consider this to be a block and this block is lying on a horizontal surface as we can see that there is a contact so whenever there is a contact there would be a normal force so this horizontal surface will create or exert a force on this block and the direction of that force would be perpendicular to the contact so because this is the contact so this surface would be creating a normal force on this block which will be in the upward direction and not not only that this block will also creating a normal force on this horizontal surface and the direction would be like this so these two would be equal in magnitude but opposite in direction and it will always be perpendicular to the contact and suppose there is a this block is lying on a this kind of surface so here we can see that there are two con two contacts the first contact is between these two surfaces and the another contact is here so there would be a normal reaction force due to this contact as well so this wall if this is the corner of a room we if if we consider it so this wall will be creating a normal force in this direction on this block and this block will also be creating a normal force on this wall and it will be in this direction so whenever there is a contact this normal reaction force will come into existence the second concept used here is of the circular motion whenever any object moves around an axis if this is an axis and an object is moving around this object so when this object moves around an axis we call it as the circular motion this circular motion is little bit different from the linear motion so let me just make a comparison between the circular motion and the linear motion if this is the linear motion and here we have the circular motion in linear motion we have the concept of mass represented by letter m similar to mass in linear motion in circular motion or angular motion we have the concept of moment of inertia represented by letter i and this moment of inertia is equal to m r square that is the second moment of mass the next thing in linear motion we have the concept of linear velocity and this linear velocity is the displacement upon time similar to linear velocity in linear motion in circular or angular motion we have the concept of angular velocity represented by letter omega and this is equal to the radian per second or angle covered in per unit time in linear motion the formula of centripetal force is m v square divided by r if we want to change this formula for circular motion we can easily derive it in place of mass we have to write the moment of inertia because moment of inertia is the mass equivalent in circular motion so for circular motion the formula of centripetal force would be in place of m i will be writing i that is the moment of inertia into in place of v that is the linear velocity i have to write omega and it is squared divided by the radius would remain radius be it linear motion or circular motion so this would be the formula of centripetal force in circular motion and about centripetal force centripetal force is a requirement for any object to move in a circular path if there is any motion happening in a circular path the centripetal force is a must thing and the direction of centripetal force is always towards the center now coming to the question so in the question we can see that there are two contacts the first contact is from this face of the block and this ground and there's another contact and that contact is between this face of this block and the wall of this groove and we are asked to find the normal reaction by the wall of the groove 
on the block as we can see that the direction of normal reaction force is always perpendicular to the contact so this is the contact which is happening between the wall of the grooves and the surface of this block so the direction would be perpendicular to this contact so this would be like this when this object reaches here we can see that the direction would still be like this when object reaches here this contact due to this contact between the wall and the surface of this block this would be the reaction force and as we can see that this reaction force is always acting towards the center of this rotational path or circular path and for any object to move in a circular path the centripetal force is a must thing and that centripetal force is given by i omega square divided by r so this normal reaction force which is acting on this object by the walls of this groove would be equal to the centripetal force required for this object to move in a circular path so that normal force would be equal to the centripetal force fc and the formula for centripetal force is i omega square divided by r i have just derived it so this is equal to i that is the moment of inertia into square of the angular velocity divided by radius of the circular path this i is nothing but m r square that is the second moment of mass into omega square divided by r so this would become m 1r and r get cancelled m r into omega square this is the normal reaction force on this block due to the walls of this groove so we are asked to find the value of this the mass of the block is given as 200 gram so that 200 gram would become 0.2 kilogram radius of the circular path is given as the 20 centimeter so this 20 centimeter would become 0.2 meter into omega square the value of omega is not given to us but it is been told in the question that this block is completing one round in 40 second omega is nothing but the angle covered in per unit time the angle covered by this block during one round is 2 pi because 2 pi radian is the angle covered in one round so this is 2 pi in 40 seconds so this is given so this way the value of omega comes out to be pi by 20 so we can put this value of omega here so this would be pi by 20 we have to take the square of this because in the question the formula is of omega square if we further solve it this would become 0.04 into pi square divided by 400 or this would become pi square divided by 10,000 the value of pi square is 9.8696 divided by 10,000 or we can get the answer from here as 9.86 into 10 power minus 4 the unit is of Newton because normal reaction is always a kind of force and if we match our answer with the options given so option number four would be the correct one so let me quickly revise this question once again in this question we are asked to find the contact force or the normal reaction force on this block due to the wall of the groove so this is the first concept used the second concept is that this object is moving in a circular path so for any object to move in a circular path the centripetal force is something which is must the direction of centripetal force required is towards the center and as we can see that the normal reaction force on this block due to the walls of this groove is acting towards the center so this normal reaction force which is created by the walls of the groove will be providing the appropriate centripetal force required in required for the movement of this object in a circular path so the normal reaction force would be equal to the centripetal force the formula of centripetal force for circular motion is i omega square by r the moment of inertia is nothing but the second moment of mass that is m r square so from here the the final formula is m r into omega square the value of mass is given as 200 grams so we will be converted it into kilograms the radius of the circular path is given as 20 centimeters so 0.2 would be in meter the value of angular speed is not given but it has been given that this object completes one round in 40 seconds one round means 2 pi because in one round there are 2 pi radians in 40 seconds so from here the value of omega or the angular speed is pi by 20 
so we are just simply putting the value of omega as pi by 20 and square of that from here the, the final value comes up to be pi square divided by 10,000 the value of square of the pi is 9.86 divided by 10,000 this 10,000 is nothing but 10 power minus 4 so the final answer would be 9.86 into 10 power minus 4 newton so this would be the our answer so thank you for watching if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel doubt forum see you in the next video till then take care bye bye